guys we have a completely brand new monster kitchen game coming to the roblox platform that nobody is talking about and we have to talk about it because it's kind of crazy on how this game has gone so far under the radar i've seen a lot and i mean a lot of small 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 videos about this game and there's been one large youtuber who has done a video on this game so far but that's about it and it was a pretty recent video but before i go ahead here and talk about that brand new game i want to go ahead here and i want to talk a little bit more about what happened in my last video if you guys have not seen my last video my last video was over another monster catching game coming to the platform known as paramount and i want to go ahead here and give you guys just a little bit of a small quick update about what is going on with paramount because a lot has been going on with that as well if you guys are only interested in the new monster catching game that's coming to the roblox platform remember guys you guys can go ahead here and skip to the timestamp on screen you guys could skip the paramount news if you guys don't want to hear it but hey i know some of you guys subscribe to me to see paramount content so here i am uploading paramount content for you guys keep you guys up to date what's going on with the game and everything else so yeah if you guys really like that you want to keep up with the news i'm going to keep doing videos like this where i add stuff to other content in between to keep you guys updated on paramount until its official release um just subscribe because you guys are going to want to see more of it and i'm just going to keep uploading it so yeah without further ado guys let's go on ahead here and just hop on to the paramount news and then we'll get into this brand new monster catching game for you guys now so for paramount a lot has happened recently within the game so officially i'm gonna go ahead here and start out with the game now has an official art slash kind of like splash page for the game you guys will see the art up on screen it is beautifully made unfortunately i do not have the creator's name of the art in front of me um i want to give a big shout out to them so if you guys do know the name of the creator please comment it down below um just to let people know give them some work because this is amazing art it looks hecka beautiful it's amazing it's just amazing amazing art and it, i'm really really happy with like the way it looks and everything else and it, it makes the game look super super professional on top of the game now having a actual logo update which is really really cool another thing i'm gonna be showing on screen for you guys so yeah no now paramount does have an official logo kind of it is still a work in progress i'm sure it will change throughout time you know how they work through the game but for right now, um, this does seem to be the official logo for the Paramount game, which is really cool. It looks really nice. I really like it. I like the gold and everything that's going on with it. It's kind of cool. I gotta say that. Another thing, testing for the game has begun. So if you guys have gotten the tester role, which you can no longer get the tester role on the Discord server, but if you guys were able to get into the Discord server originally and were able to get that tester spot, you guys can now go out and test the game. The game is up. It is, it is up right now. Uh, we are constantly sending in uh feedback and we are constantly sending in bug reports because there is a lot of bug reports unfortunately um but all that stuff's going to be hard ironed out in the game the game's going to continue to be work on but at, right now you can essentially go and test the game make sure everything works and give the devs the feedback that they need to be able to make this game the best it possibly can be on release and i do have to say that so yeah you guys have the tester role uh go ahead and get that and hey unfortunately i can't show you guys any tester footage just yet but soon we will have a tester build that i can show you guys and i will be creating a video when that comes out so hey hope you guys really like that when it comes out and uh yeah so uh, remember just stay on the channel for that that's gonna be coming soon uh, another thing, we got an evolution to the Bugmon that I showed you guys in the previous video. Now, his name is Flyborn, and he is a bug dragon type, which is super, 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 super cool. Like, we're getting a, essentially an early route bug dragon type. Like, like that's freaking sick. Like, I had to say that's really, really cool. And we've also gotten a ton of information on the game. So, we now have essentially all of the natures, all of the abilities of the current mons that are going to be in the game um the base stats as well as their move sets and yet again all this stuff can be changed before release obviously all this stuff is just work in progress but from what we have right now it is really really cool but unfortunately i'm not going to be able to show you guys any of that because yet again it is all in the tester build you have to be a tester to be able to see it but once i get all the actual information that we get for the demo and thing that we can show off as a content creator I'm going to be showing that to you guys uh, like as soon as I possibly can. So definitely just keep an eye out for that. But we've got a ton of stuff with that. And we've also gotten a brand new way to essentially be able to tell our mons IVs and kind of their EVs and things like that. So we can do some, you know, training to make sure that they're good for competitive. Another great thing that has happened with the game, and I had to say it's a really, really, really nice just update to be able to see everything from like all the mons typings, all their stats, all their moves, and to actually be able to, you know, make sure things work properly and that the game ends up, you know, having proper balancing. I think that's just an amazing thing, and I, I'm really, 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 really like just looking like forward to seeing, you know, where it goes from here and how far we could possibly go, you know? So, yeah. 
uh, that was a lot of the Paramon news. Now, I also did want to talk about one last thing with Paramon, and actually, well, two things, really, um, and that is the events that are going on in the server, and then I wanted to talk about the uh, brand new contest that is currently available. Now, the contest may be over by the day that this video comes out. I'm going to try to get this video out by tomorrow, but I think by tomorrow the contest may be over. But if it's not, go ahead and check the Discord server yet again. Uh, there will be a contest for, yet again, you guys to be able to get your own mons within the game. So if you guys design um, mons, like monsters, you know, that go for monster catching games and things like that, um, you guys can go ahead and put your own mon in the game. And the theme this time is for river monsters. So it's kind of like fish, um, you know, like eels, things like that. Things that can be found in a river. Um, essentially that's kind of the theme and that's a essentially like, you know, the top three winners will actually get their own Paramon within the game. So it's, if you want to like, you know, get your design out there, have it physically put in the game and you want it to become essentially a Paramon, you can do that right now on the server. Um, so just go down to the discord server. It's in, um, I believe it's in news and it's also maybe in events. So you guys can go ahead and check that out as well as if you guys have the tester spot, there is currently a PVP tournament. Uh, with very limited spots that literally just got um, released today where essentially you can go and register. So if you have the tester spot, you are already playing the game and testing the game as a tester um, and you want to participate in this PvP tournament to see just, you know, ironing out the PvP bugs and, you know, just kind of seeing how good the meta would be right now. Um, go join the tournament. It has limited spots. So yet again, if you're a tester and you have that, just go down to the Discord description. You guys can check that out and just make sure you guys get in there. And then other than that, there is other server events that are going on. They're constantly doing just other events for other games and stuff to keep the community alive, just so we can keep the game going and we can um, talk about a lot of things. Uh, one of the biggest ones that's coming up right now for me personally is going to be the Pokemon Unite tournament. We are doing a Pokemon Unite 3v3 tournament. So, hey, if you guys are interested in any of that, um, go ahead, check the events tab in the Discord server as well. They're also doing a Pokemon giveaway, I believe. Uh, that has, I believe, another day left on it as well. So you guys might be able to get that if you come in very quickly. It's a shiny Pokemon. Um, it's for Scarlet or Violet. And they're going to be having plenty and plenty and plenty and plenty more in the future so you guys are want to go ahead and check that out i mean it's just really 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 like really like just a huge thing it's going to be a big for the community big for the game and everything else but yeah we're going to keep pushing paramount forward um and i'm excited to see what the devs and everyone else uh comes out with the game I'm, I'm excited to keep making content on it and i'm just excited to see where the game goes from here so now that we've got all that paramount news out of the way i just want to go ahead and get that out of the way keep you guys updated on the game um, I want to talk about this brand new monster catching game that has gone under the radar that nobody but like yet again everybody seems to be talking about all at the same time and that is none other than a small game called Elyon Adventures. Now if you guys do not know what this is I myself I didn't know what this game was until I saw it a couple like literally a couple days ago and yeah no i saw and i was going through youtube and i saw nobody was really making videos on it like if I, if I if i quickly show you guys here just a little bit of you know what's going on and everything else between these videos there, there really isn't any besides the official channel there's a short here there's a video from our mentee about the game which came out four days ago which seems to be the most popular video on the game by the way which is 15k views which is even it's not that much honestly uh, especially for what I believe our mentee normally pulls, so that's not even that great. And then other than that, it's just a lot of really, really, really like in between games, random videos. Uh, there was a video from a month ago they got 3K, uh, but just a lot of just other videos in general. And it, it, it's not a lot of about the game. And you guys might be saying, well, what is Elion Adventures? How come I've never heard of this game? Because even the official reveal trailer for the game only has 6k views. So it's like, what, what is this game? Why is this not a game that's came to my attention? Well, this isn't a game that came to your attention because it's kind of just not out there. There's not too much footage of the game, but for the footage we do have of the game, it is incredible. So I'm going to go ahead here and just showing you guys a lot of the footage and things that we have available to us right now. Um, essentially um for the game and like what you guys can expect going in and the whole reason why i decided to cover this game so a lot of the time with elion adventures uh it is this supposedly monster catching game that's coming to the roblox platform that looks pretty good i have to say it does look really incredible from the reveal trailer and that's the biggest thing about this game compared to other monster catching games for me right now is this game promotionally is held to a such a high standard is held to the same promotional standard i believe as an official pokemon release 
when it comes to professionality, video editing, as well as just the way how they make their monsters look in game, the way how the models are made, the animations, all of it, it feels extremely, and I mean extremely close to official Pokemon production, which is not something that a lot of games do. A lot of games, they feel like they're their own thing. They feel like they're their Roblox things. That doesn't mean that they're bad. It just means that they're their own things. This feels really, and I mean really close to Pokemon and not in a way where it's going to get copyright striked or DMCA'd. I'm talking about in a way that it just feels like a super professional and, and super beautiful game. It reminds me a lot of uh, Nexomon 3 and how that game just like went from being something else to being just amazing looking and beautiful looking. It's just such a great looking game from the small footage we have seen of the game and it's in the soundtracks as well. The soundtracks for the game are incredible. I mean, we really have to talk about it for a second because I mean, I'm gonna play a little track for you right now. You guys can go ahead here and hear it um, if you guys want to. But hey, I'm telling you guys, it's a banger. I, let me play a little clip of it. A clip of it. I'll have a link in the, in the description. You guys want to hear the full thing? But hey, yo, let me play a little clip. Let me play a little clip. Play a little clip. just heard that clip you already you already knew that was fire you already knew that that soundtrack was fire but no no enough about the soundtrack because we already know that like hey yo just based off that clip the soundtrack is going to be fire but let's take a look at some of these mons what's really going on as well as also i just have to say this was an amazing trailer from what they showed uh for the first starting games and for the first starting characters but what i really want to come over here and bring your attention to is i want to bring your attention to their official website now now this game has its own website and it's a roblox game which is crazy most Roblox games do not do this i'm going to be honest with you and the thing about this site is is this site looks super professional it has a link to the discord it has a link to their twitter which i would go ahead and follow the twitter um you could join the discord but the discord is like kind of it's in a weird position for me right now. Uh, they have a lot going on in there with questions and generals and things, but it's not as good as their their Twitter. In my opinion, if you want to keep up with the game, I would follow their Twitter. The Twitter's pretty active. So, you know, follow the Twitter. I think it's great. But just look at this page. Look at this look at this amazing page. And it literally just tells you, you know, an adventure waits you. You know, you can go ahead and join the community right now. And they, they essentially just answer the question, what is Elyon? So Elyon Adventures is a creature-catching adventure game on the Roblox uh, platform developed by a dedicated team of genre enthusiasts. Unlike most games on the platform, this project is driven by a team with over a decade of experience, which is great. I mean, that's just incredible. And have contributed to several top tier games in the industry. I, I mean, just imagine how freaking cool this is going to be. And one of the best things that I love about this site is they keep you updated with posts like this. They just revealed some new Elions that we're gonna be taking a look at in one quick second because they have the entire decks up here as well, which is super cool. So. I don't know if the entire Dex is what's going to be on this website, but for right now, they have every single one that they've revealed, and it feels so official, bro. It feels so close to Pokemon. Like, I've never felt something this close to Pokemon before, and it just looks incredible. But let's go ahead here. Let's click on the Dex real quick, and you guys can see a lot of the mods that have come up. So, when it comes to it, these are all the mods that have currently been essentially uh, showcased or showed off. Now, if I click here on Elyon, you guys can see the entire decks or at least what we have for right now i do not know if this is going to be the entire decks of the entire game or if this is just a small page that they have to update um i will have to ask and you know figure out those questions on the discord server i don't believe this is going to be all the bonds in the game if it was it would be kind of a small amount small selection i'm expecting a few more or maybe this could be just how many come out when the game actually comes out so i mean we, we, we don't know yet so um i'm really just you know gonna keep my eye out for you guys and just uh try to make sure that everything here just turns out and you know looks really great but let's go ahead here and just talk about these official designs because these designs are freaking fire okay so we have uh the starters which are showcased in their own trailer um which are freaking cool which is coattail which is a nature type which i want to also show you guys something really cool about the site you can click on it and you can see all their stats 
you can even see what their abilities do like you can see the individual abilities like dude this is so this is so official which is why I love. I just love it. You can see the dex entry even down here because Kotel hatches when local plants go to seeds and instinctively hops and prances about. They are um, insanely curious and will peck at everything, including other Elions. It's really freaking cool. So yeah, this is a grass starter. His name is Kotel. He is a grass uh, little bird. Obviously, you know, he's a feather grass Elyon. Um, and then here is the type chart, which I'm not going to be talking about in a little bit. But you guys, you guys can see here, here's like some of his early stats. And yet again, these are all subject to change, I'm pretty sure. So these will probably show up in other things as well. And you guys can, you know, just kind of see what everything, you know, with that gender and that mod is going on about. But that's the grass starter coattail. Um, personally, he's kind of the one I like the most, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, and probably the one I will actually end up going with. But the next one is the fire starter, which is Flarin which is a super cool um essentially i believe a hedgehog type mod it's really cool um and it, it, it's like a short little like mouse it kind of looks like a little bit of a pikachu clone but like as a fire starter and it's kind of cool like like overall it's just known as the fireball elion as well but yeah no you guys can also see here just all of its abilities you know um which i'm super excited you know see what all these do um, including their hit of passive abilities and everything else which is super cool so that's a really good looking one and then we also have the water starter tilio now tilio has had a lot of memes and stuff about him i've seen some funny clips from the official um uh dev team as well from like youtube and twitter clips and stuff that like everyone thinks that it's kind of like a ripoff pop leo and things like that i do find it funny i'm gonna be honest with you i find him to be like he kind of looks like kirby a little bit but like i don't know like a mix of kirby and pop leo it's kind of weird not my favorite honestly probably my least favorite but he is still a pretty cool looking mod i must say and he does have you know some pretty interesting abilities of rubber body and reflective body as well so that, that, that that's pretty cool you know and i could just click on that and it'll you know tell you to sign it with your roblox account or whatever else you really need to sign in with so yeah that's pretty cool but uh yeah so moving back over here over to the twitter page as you guys can clearly say uh from that we have like a couple of other mods and things that they've showcased off as well uh, some that aren't even on here for what i mean i don't believe demoleon is on here if i remember correctly let me quickly just uh scroll back up here and then click on the website i don't believe he's on the dex chart he may be if he is that's amazing uh yeah he's not on there surprisingly yeah that was one of the mods that i saw that wasn't on there but yeah so he's there he's kind of like a light bulb um kind of like electric like steel bond kind of thing it's really cool looking i like, honestly it's super super cool looking um in my opinion but yeah this is why i told you guys uh, follow the twitter because their twitter is going to have content on there that's not officially on um this site just yet but i'm sure it will be updated very 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 shortly now a lot of the newer mods that they were showing off um were a lot of these bottom ones uh uh parasilit was a dark type um and it's in evolve form impopal is also a dark type as well and we also got a trailer for these two um including um some of the other elions that also are down here with posmoth and draymorpha which is really really cool so it's kind of like a light and dark variation of the kind of like route one starter but here's the i really like the look of posmoth they do look like they need a third evolution in my opinion but that's kind of just my opinion i don't know you guys can tell me down in the comment section below what you guys think um we also here have vasquosa which is kind of like a combination of roserade me kind of serena type deal but like maybe give it like a mega man buster type cannon it's really really cool looking it's a nature toxic type um you also have uh slither which is like a geo which is essentially like a ground type uh which evolves into gravel which is a ground electric type which is super super cool and you also have hugglepuff which is like a basic you know a normal type and then you have uh wamalore which is a geo metal type which is this sort of you know uh groundhog that has this like super big launch launcher thing super 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 interesting mod and just like you know i'm, I'm excited to see what see more about him because we saw his model not too long ago on the discord server which yet again that's why you guys should join it so uh yeah but overall that was really like most of what's on the site so far uh the biggest issues that i have with this game going forward and the whole reason why i don't think it's being covered is because there really isn't any gameplay out um one thing about this game that's definitely wanted to be uh, i wanted to note was the release date uh because they asked in questions a lot of people were asking questions you know is the game coming out this year is it coming out later 
um, and they did say that the game is coming out before 2024, and there's going to be a, a demo out before then. Now, what does that exactly mean? I believe that the demo could come out in between, it could come out, I'm not expecting it to come out in September at all, or anything like that. Um, sorry about that, you guys can see my friend playing Baldur Gate, but, um, I'm not expecting it to come out or be anything like that. What I'm expect what I'm essentially expecting it to be is maybe, maybe they'll have a demo release in October, maybe, maybe later, maybe even November, even December or so, so they'll have something for the game that comes out, and then, you know, maybe the game will release, like, maybe right before New Year's, maybe, but we also don't know how many, uh, how much content is going to actually be in the game. We don't know how far this dex is going to be filled up, we don't even know if the game itself is truly going to be good, but based off of all the effort I that they've put not only into this website, but also into the promotional trailers, which you guys are going to be watching probably in the background and, like, over this content and everything else, um, I have to believe this game, I, I, I have faith in this game. This game from the promotional material is so professional compared to everything else that I truly do believe it is going to be an incredible experience for people to play, but we do need to see more gameplay first. We always say, oh, trust the devs, trust the devs, they're going to do great, and then Roblox developers let us down time and time and time again, but this game just felt so professional to me off of just the promotional images and everything that they had available and the very small amount of gameplay that they've shown that I just, I had to cover it, and nobody is really talking about it nobody's really like going crazy about it it's all just like mediocre videos and things like that so besides our mentee I, I mean so far i haven't really seen too much on it so yeah i definitely wanted to shed some light on this sorry yet again guys for another like kind of monster catching video right back back to back after i already posted another one like i think a couple weeks ago um, but yeah, I just, I just had to cover this stuff and I really wanted to get it out there for you guys. So yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed making it guys. I really hope you guys check out Elyon Adventures as well as checking out Paramon. Like I said before, both amazing games. I'm really excited to see them both come out because I love creature catching games and I'm excited for what is coming to the future of this platform, whether it be Roblox, um, you know, just normal PC games, just in general, I'm, I'm just excited for more monster catching games and to cover more monster catching games in the, uh, future. So yeah, if you guys are interested in any of that, remember just subscribe to the channel because I'm going to constantly be updating you guys and showing you guys new stuff. So yeah, uh, that's all for me guys. Hope you guys really enjoyed. And